We're here at Barnyard Chicken in Park Circle. Their specialty item is brick chicken, which is pressed down with a heavy object, gives it a nice crisp skin. But we're going in this place completely blind. They've only been open for two weeks. There's hardly anything on Yelp or TripAdvisor or the Facebook boards, but we're still gonna go jump in feast first. Let's check it out. I'm a Charleston native. I love to go on cruises, travel to amazing places, and enjoy local cuisine. This is local Charleston. Barnyard Chicken is brand new. It's located two doors down from Codfather on Park Circle. There's lots of available parking on the side of the building and around back. And they have this wonderful takeout window. So if you have a takeout order, you don't even have to go in the restaurant. You can just pick it up at the window. They have all this great outside seating, and that's really important because as we walk in, you'll notice it's not a very big place at all. In fact, it's quite small, if not cozy. But don't worry, because they turn tables pretty quickly here. And one thing I absolutely love with these pole dancing chickens in these pictures, I thought that was absolutely hilarious. It's only been a couple of weeks since their grand opening, and right now the only drinks they have are Coke products, tea, and water. But the waitress told us that they have their beer and wine license applied for and will be serving beer and wine in the coming weeks. The vibe here is laid back and relaxing. They have all kinds of little chickens. I didn't even notice these little chickens hidden up here. And the service was absolutely great. Now I thought this was a great idea. They have this deck of cards here, but they're not playing cards. They're cards with questions you can ask your table mates. Anything from, are you named after somebody and why? And what is your vision on life? And what's your favorite thing to do on weekends? So you get to learn a little bit more about the people you're dining with. It would be a great place to take a first date. That way you can learn everything you want to know about who you're dating. We started with the sticky wings, which are charred sweet soy and garlic, and we went for a six piece. The wings were a good size and the sauce was nice and sticky and sweet. But the unusual thing about it, and you're going to hear this about a lot of the food we got here, was the juiciness of the chicken. I mean, I've had wings before, but I would never describe wings as being juicy. But in this case, I definitely would. They were a great start to the meal, but be sure to pack the paper towels. They are sticky. We went with the whipped potatoes as a side, and as the description says, it's loaded with butter and cream, and they were very creamy. And though it doesn't say so, you can get it with gravy on top. However, originally we were going to get the arancini. Unfortunately, the arancini has been taken off the menu because they were having problems getting it to stick together in the frying process. I don't know if it's coming back, but for now, it's not available. Up next, we had the garlic noodles, and these were an absolute hit. And this is a small portion, and let me tell you, this small portion could definitely feed two people. In fact, while we were here, I saw a couple on the table across from us, and they were splitting the portion between them. The noodles were nice and tender, and they had that nice hint of garlic with every bite, and it really paired well with chicken. I mean, it's a good match for chicken as a side order. Now this was our absolute favorite, the bacon wrapped chicken breast with melted onion and pepper jack cheese. Now in other pictures we've seen, this was sliced into four pieces, but this is just two, and of course that's not going to affect the taste at all. But I mean, once again, I'm going to throw that word out. These things were absolutely juicy. They were super flavorful. I mean, you get the smokiness of the bacon, a little bit of heat off that pepper jack cheese mixed with that onion. And of course, the chicken is cooked to absolute perfection. As we slice into it, I want to kind of give you a little bit of a close up of it. I don't know if you can tell or not, but you can just absolutely see how just drippingly juicy this is. I mean, it was flavorful and it was our favorite item on the menu. Now, of course, we can't come to Barnyard Chicken and not get their signature item, their brick chicken. And this is a half chicken right here, both white and dark meat. Their chicken involves a double brine, a 24 hour wet brine, followed by a 24 hour dry brine. Then it's put skin side down in a cast iron skillet and a weight is put on top of it to press it against that hot skillet and give you super crispy skin. And once again, I'm gonna have to drop that word that I used on the other two dishes. This is some of the juiciest chicken I've ever had. 
and juicy in the good way, not greasy or anything at all, just absolutely juicy perfection. It's almost like you get the best parts of a rotisserie chicken, but at the same time, it's a fried chicken. So you get the juiciness of like rotisserie, but the crispiness of fried. I was very pleased with the portion size as well. I thought it was a very generous portion and the chicken was very meaty too. So that was a plus as well. So even though the bacon wrapped chicken was our favorite, I'm not down in this chicken at all. I mean, this was a very, very close second. For their signature item, I'd say they hit this one out of the park, and I will be coming back here again to get more of that delicious chicken. Now they have two sauces available, Reduced Chicken Love and their Spicy Green Sauce. Now I try not to assert opinions, but absolutely my favorite was the Spicy Green Sauce. It's kind of a mayonnaise based, and it's not hot, it just has lots of spice in it and really accents the chicken well. Now I thought this was a cute touch as well. When they bring you the bill, they put it inside an old book. This is like a book of old war poems. I thought that was a very clever touch. Park Circle has definitely been making a splash on the food scene with lots of great trendy restaurants. And this one is another feather in the cap for Park Circle. So if you're craving some super juicy and tasty chicken, look no further than Barnyard Chicken. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps to grow the channel. And we put out a new restaurant video each week. And as always, thanks for watching.